yes my wonderful family and amazing people i can see that or i can say that the time we have been waiting for is now we have here and heard from the ipop leader is your for what he have to say to us remember he encouraged us to be steadfast to be united and to hold on because he believed that Mazina de Kalu will be out soon. And here is the video. Listen to it. Drop your opinion. Digest it. And I will be right back. They have been able to connive to kidnap our leader Mazina de Kalu. And you want me to keep quiet? Telling me that, oh, look at what they have done. They have done this. They are trying. They are not trying anything. Because if you don't understand the level, the danger that our leader Mazinam de Kano is involved, you don't know. Nobody has ever heard or seen our leader from the very moment that he was kidnapped from Kenya. Up to now. Up to now. Nobody has heard from him. Nobody has heard from him. They planned it and they collected money and they don't want us to see our leader because they have a different agenda. Is that not true? My question is, but why? Why would the legal counsel try to cover this up? Why would the legal counsel try to cover this up? Eh? It is something that they're supposed to have told us a long time ago. They told us that they have been seeing our leader, but they have not been seeing our leader. You understand me? Because they know that the people will respond. Why is the legal counsel covering this thing up? Is my question. I keep asking the same question. Because I see so many people telling me, oh, he's tried. He's, I'm not saying nobody has tried. But I'm saying, why is he the one covering this truth? That they have not been able to see our leader, Mazen Amdekano. Which means our leader's life is in danger. Do you understand what it means? Do you understand what it means for, for, for the Nigerian government to pay money so that they will kidnap our leader from Kenya? Do you understand what it means? You don't understand what it means. So you think that they are playing with you? Look at it. Did you hear from Governor Bello? He said they are killer headsmen. They are people that have infiltrated the system and they have been there for 100 years. That is what that man said. And for, for a man like Mazin Amdekan, who has been the one exposing this thing, you think that they, they, they arrested our, or kidnapped our leader to just keep him in the, in, the, in the house. Remember where our leader is? He's in the DSS facility. Our leader is not even in cell or he's in the DSS facility. Do you not understand what it means? If you understand the history, the history of Nigeria, you will see that they have never respected any rule of law. So why do you expect them to, uh, to, to respect rule of law? You can see that it's not working. They will never respect the rule of law. They have somebody, somebody that they have, uh, that have been exposing them, somebody that has exposed the secret, and you think it's something that you will just be, be playing caricature? I don't understand. I don't understand why people are not thinking about that. I don't understand why people are taking, taking the conversation away from the main issues. Our leader, Mazin Amdekan, is in danger. That is where it is. Our people should ask the legal counsel, why is it that he did not tell us the truth from the beginning? Because now he knows that it is getting out of hand. He needs to say the truth. That is why he's trying to say the truth now. Because soon people will forget about the cover-up from the beginning. We knew that this man has not been seeing our leader, Mazin Amdekanu. There is a feeling in us that tells us that this man has not been seeing our leader, Mazin Amdekanu. Why is he still covering up? Because now the exposition is already here. Okay? They have, not, they have not been able to see our leader. That is one thing I've been saying from the beginning. That the health of our leader is, in pro, is, a, is a big issue. You know? Why? Why do you... Okay, why do you think... That the DSS or whatever, the Nigerian terrorist government do, don't want you to see him as in America. Okay, let's answer that question. Why? Why do you think that they don't want the lawyer to see our leader, Mazin Amdekano? Why? Let me see your excuse. I want to see your excuse. I don't know if you understand it. Because the problem is that we are not thinking straight. Why is it that the, the DSS and the Nigerian terrorist government, of course, don't want the legal counsel to see our leader, Mazin Amdekano? I ask a very simple question. Why? Why do you think they don't want him to see? They don't want the lawyer to see our leader, Mazin Amdekano? Everybody should ask the legal counsel, why are they covering up the truth? Everybody should ask the DOS, why are they wasting time to do the writing? 
it is not a moment of play. It's not a moment of play for me. I see it as something that is of grave. I don't know. I don't know. Consequences that they have done to us. And somebody is expecting me to be, to, to, to be laughing with anybody. Whether you are DOS, whether you are lawyer, whether you are anything. I don't care whoever you are. Because at this point, you have not delivered. It is the same thing that we are seeing in Nigeria that is going on. And there is nobody that is able to speak because they are trying to cover you up. If you speak, you mention DOS. They say, oh, don't speak against DOS. If you want to talk about the lawyer, hey, don't talk about the lawyer. Oh, you are attacking them. What attacking them? What do you mean? When we have not seen results, when we have not heard from our leader, when we have not seen our leader, Mazenam de Kanu, and you think it's a joke. My problem is that why are these people covering these things up? Why are they covering it up? Because all is not well. All is not well, my people. I'm aware, Thursday, of course, where they say the imposter is coming to Imo State. You see? Look at now. Look at, look at the history, what is happening. They are able to invade our land through the people that we know. Now he wants to visit Imo State. Why do you think, why do you think the imposter wants to visit Imo State? Biafra land. Why do you think he's going to Imo State? Why do you think he's not going to Aquaibom? Why do you think he's going to Imo State? They can't bribe Bruce, Bruce Finn. Did I say they bribe anybody? When I'm talking, people, people just go and talk about that thing. Why do you, do you think I'm, 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 I'm saying they are bribing anybody? In fact, the man just came from anywhere he comes from. He doesn't even know what is going on. He will not understand what is going on. I can tell you that. Because when they want to plan evil, they will cover it up. You will never understand. I choose to be different on this one. I choose to be different on this one. I choose to be different. We should ask the, 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 uh, the, the, the legal counsel, why is it that they are covering up the truth? Why is it that they don't, want us, they don't want us to know the truth? Why are they bringing a white man to come and cover up the truth? Why? Why are they bringing a white man to come and cover up the truth? People will say, oh, there is going to be international law. There is going to be this thing. Is it not when somebody is alive? Is it not when somebody is alive? Do you know how long court cases take? Do you know how long court, oh my God, do you know how long court cases take? Do you know how long? What can anybody do? What has the world done to, to, to the Taliban that has invaded Afghanistan? What has the world done? You don't understand what I'm saying. We need to hear from our leader, Mazen Amdekanu. That is my point. My name is Insima. My name is Insima. I'm from Akwaibom. Akwaibom is Biafra. Cross Rivers is Biafra. And we must continue to protect and defend our land. Go and ask the legal counsel. Why? So does that mean that... Barrister Jofo has not seen Mazina de Kanu. Is that what we are saying? Please, I want the record to be straight. Because honestly, we don't really understand what is playing anymore. On Monday, when they went there, they said the person that will receive them is not on seat. And on Thursday again, they said they will not allow the US led lawyer to have access to Mazina de Kanu. That is only a uh, barrister if I in Asia for. So what is really going on? Why is it that when someone else go along with him to visit Mazina de Kanu, these people normally refuse. But if he is the only one that is going there, they will accept. So what is really playing? What is the situation of this country? What is the plan towards Mazina de Kanu? These are the questions that we need to ask because we need proper clarification. Then I want everybody to shine their energy to Radio Biafra. These are the questions we need to ask our DOS. If they are so sure what is really going on. And I believe that we are going to get our reply from there. All right, my wonderful family, please do where to drop your opinion in the comment section. What you think about this video? Do you really think that what is playing right now is the right thing or not? Do you think that Barrister Ifa Njofo is not telling us the truth or is not giving us the clear update? Please drop your opinion in the comment section and I will be right back. Before I go, if you know you haven't subscribed, you know the way we normally do it, please. Click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. Bye-bye.